Hey guys, welcome back to Divinely Genuine. I'm Michelle Ochoa, your practical priestess, here to deliver your tarot reading for the new moon in Scorpio happening on November 7th of 2018. So, um, what day is that? Anywho, I know I have a calendar in here somewhere. So November 7th is next Wednesday. So I'm filming this on um, Tuesday the 30th with the moon in uh, Cancer. Um, the water signs are very intuitive and healing. So anytime the moon is there, it's a good idea to try to get intuitive insight, which is why I would like to do the tarot on days like that. Um, and to do healing work. So this new moon does fall on a water sign of, like I mentioned, Scorpio. It's happening at on the 7th at 7 degrees, okay? Um, so if you have any planets or asteroids in Scorpio around 7 degrees, um, it will be activated with this new moon. Okay, so a dark moon or new moon, it's when, you know, you can't see the moon in the sky, the sun is covering it, um, and it's a good time to start new things as after the new moon, the energy starts building up as the moon starts to show and the sun passes, right? Um, so if you do not know your, if you have planets near that uh, particular point, in the sky, you'll want to Google your natal birth chart and which to continue listening to the correct sign for yourself. You'll have to do that as well. Um, you need your birth time. Because I go by the ascendant sign, the ascendant, um, you need to, um, like I said, Google your natal birth chart and you need your birth time to be able to figure out what time the sun was ascending at the exact point of your birth. Where was it? on the horizon, okay? And um, that's the way that we as astrologers can do predictive astrology and say, okay, your ascendant is here in Libra, then that puts the moon here in Scorpio, and that's the second house or sector of the sky um, affecting our self-value and money. So you see, that's how you do predictive astrology. And so learn your ascendant, find that birth time out. Get as close as you can. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into it. I have uh, Burn Sage, Palo Santos. I have Communed with Spirit, Shuffled the Deck. Um, we did get one jumper card for the whole collective, I like to think. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and move this up some. Sorry, I do want to keep a little bit of the dust showing. That way you can see the tarot. Okay, so, um, I think it's still too far. The jumper card was problem resolved. Um, okay. And so I feel like that is for the collective. However, we are going to go through the ascendance from Aries to Pisces. I'll let you know what area of life this full moon is affecting you in. And you'll have two cards, um, a tarot and an oracle um, as guidance from the divine, okay? I move kind of quickly. And if anyone watching knows how to do the timestamps in the comments for each sign, I would love your help with that. All right, let's get on into it. So for Aries Ascendant, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles says that you are feeling an, as an outcast, thrown away from society, you know, just weird and not connected. And having it reversed is saying that's coming to an end. You're feeling more, um, um, you know, it could go both ways. You're wanting to connect more and you're feeling more a part of uh, connection to others. Um, and it could even be that you have a block 
being the outcast and separating yourself from the norm and the Joneses and what they want to do. But you should be feeling more connected when this card shows reversed or feeling like an ass outcast is ending for you right now. Um, so Aries Ascendant, the, the new moon is happening for you in your eighth house of secrets, uh, pain, death and rebirth, taxes, hidden secrets, things we don't want to look at or deal with. Um, it's our shadows. It's also our depth and how intense we can be in like sexual relations. The healing fairies are saying during this new moon, you're awakening to your true self. So you are no longer feeling like the outcast. You're awakening to your true self. Um, let's see. I want to use this book. Your affirmation, Aries Ascendant, during this new moon in Scorpio, is I now give myself permission to be true to myself. And you're releasing this block of feeling like an outcast as you gain more confidence to be true to yourself. Taurus Ascendant, we have a reversed Four of Cups. Four of Cups is having a closed heart to uh, love, closed um, doors to love. Um, so having this reversed, you are healing those blocks. You are ready to, um, to accept love. You have a more open heart and Scorpio for Taurus ascendant. So if two's here, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, um, Libra and Scorpio for you, Taurus ascendants, this is happening for you in the seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So for a lot of you, there's a huge change, newness, that you are creating and happening around you and other people in your relationships. And you're more open. Your heart is more open to that. The healing advice from the fairies is body movement. So they're saying to dance, to be active, to take action, to... Um, take care of your body to work out, to um, do what it needs to, what it feels like it should do. The affirmation is, I lovingly pay attention to my body's needs. So, you guys, um, that could mean sexual as well, since it's a new start, a rebirth to your relationships and partnerships where you're not closed off. It's beautiful. How fun. Make lip. So third would be Gemini Ascendant. We've got the Hermit card upright. You're being told to go within, to stop seeking answers outside of yourself, to quiet your mind and connect with spirit. Um, your advice from the fairies is say, saying to take a vacation, maybe like a spiritual vacation, a backpacking, um, you know, camping out, really getting back to your heart center and connecting to the divine and nature and, and really enjoying yourself in a vacation um, of just indulging into your own feelings. The healing fairies are saying to you, I give myself permission to regularly rest and relax. I know that by being revitalized, I am happier and more productive. Yes, Gemini's, you can wear yourself out with all the busy um, intellectual stuff going on in the mind, which then creates that in the emotions, and you can become overwhelmed. Get quiet, get centered, take a vacation, do what you need to to maintain your um, best self so that you can be more productive. This is happening for you guys in the area of the sixth house, which is going to be your everyday work, daily task, daily activities. So this could, um, um, and it's also your service to others, okay? We've got, uh, after Gemini would be uh, Cancer Ascendant. We've got the Devil card upright. 
No need to be weird or freak out. The devil in tarot is the chains that bind us. What is holding you back? What are you giving your power away to that is prohibiting you and keeping you, holding you hostage from moving forward? What are Cancer Ascendant, your chains and binds? And we've got the Healing Fairy card of kindness reversed. It can be, it can feel that you're not getting the kindness you deserve, Cancer Ascendants. It can also feel like you are um, having a hard time giving that kindness and feeling that kindness towards others right now. Um, there's just a bit of a block and it may be the frustration that's going along with you feeling like you're bind and bound. And really, it's up to you to break through that, okay? This is happening for you, Cancer Ascendants. Four, five, six, seven, eight. In your fifth house of your dreams, your passions, your inspiration and desires, your truest uh, love connection, it's children, it's light energy. It's what keeps the flame lit, okay? Um... So I would say to you guys, um, be kind to yourself and try your best to get rid of those chains that bind you, no matter if it's just a mentality, which most things in life are just the way we're perceiving it, our perspective, or how we're thinking about it. Change your mind if you cannot change your situation so that you can pull in the happiness of that fifth house and really benefit yourself in your true desires, which is being able to be kind in this with this new moon and not be held back. And thank y'all for your emotions and your healing energies, Cancer Ascendants. Uh, moving on to Leo Ascendant, we have a reversed uh, death card. Um, there is a pause and a restrictiveness to your, uh, transformation, um, is one way to look at it. Um, a reverse death card would, uh, could also mean you're unwilling to end something, to let something go. Or if we were to reverse cards get complicated for me, I feel like there's multiple ways to read it and, and there's multiple people watching and listening. So the way it um, resonates to your situation may be one of these that are coming to me, right? Um, so a reverse death card could also mean um, a new beginning. Uh, though I read that for upright. But death card would be the ending before the beginning. Um, I feel like it's more refusal of transformation and wanting things to, allowing things to take new form. You have to clear those blocks, uh, Leo Ascendants. And um, it's raising your standards is what the healing fairies are saying. As the advice card. And so Leo, um, Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Sorry, I keep checking. I just, you know, I want to make sure. So this is for you guys in your fourth house of home, family, tribe. Um, it's also connected to the IC, which are, is our truest soul's desire. Uh, for you Leo Ascendants, Having Scorpio to your truest desires um, and a new moon happening there. Really pay attention to what planets and asteroids you have around 7 degrees. And I would say that um, be true to your deepest desires because in the end it is only going to hurt you to not be. But, you know, I'm sorry if I come across too serious. It is life and it is a journey and we're all doing the best we can and learning as we go. And we're all evolving in our own time. So don't be too hard on yourself, but be true to yourself. So raising your standards, uh, your affirmation, Leo Ascendants, during this new moon in Scorpio, I deserve and expect the best in life. I hold high standards for myself. 
Virgo Ascendant, you guys have the Queen of Swords reversed. This is uh, fixed ideas, I believe. Uh, free thinking. It being reversed, I'm going to double check. Being reversed um, can be that you are unwilling and unable to make up. I'm sorry, that might have been Princess that I was looking at. Uh, make up your mind about things or come to a decision. Queen of Swords is actually the cold teacher of wisdom. Um, expression of ideas, communication, teaching and nurturing and others gaining.